morning all. I just sort of drop a little note. Um, just to let you know that I hadn't been cowed into silence by all the latest madness. And it's difficult to know what to say about what, what's happening and where to place ourselves. Um, it does appear to be that what so much of us have been warning about is coming to pass now. And I think it's important to understand where the regime is at the moment. Um, their reaction to the uh, disturbances and the um, understandable fury um, over what happened in Southport was their reaction I, I feel was a reaction of panic on their part I mean that's why they came down so hard on people um, it's quite obviously a um, that they decided to make examples of people and to scare everybody else into into silence and of course that will have some success initially um, and it will make everybody um, be a little bit more circumspect um, the fact that this is uh, what this amounts to is people having to watch what they say in what was formerly one of the freest countries in the world is extraordinary. Um, and one of the reasons, one of the, one of the reasons I say that is that for so much of the, uh, what we, we might call the, the shit lib establishment, who for years have told us that there's nothing that they can do about the immigration um, because that would mean breaking our international obligations and our position and our reputation on the world stage. That seems to be so much of what they, of, of their reasoning as to why they can't do anything. Um, but, you know, in the last two, two or three weeks, our international reputation as a home of free speech and um, you know, has been demolished. You know, it's the government is, uh, the new Labour government is, what, five, six weeks old? And they've demolished our international reputation. But in a way, we probably needed this. You know, we always said that it was going to get worse before it, before it got better. And this is it getting worse. Um, if you're anything like me, you'll probably be... Uh, you'll probably... Um, probably astonished by how bad bad it got so quickly is my little friend again look 
come to dis disturb everything. So like with everything else they said, that, that their concern about their inf international reputation was just more lies. Or rather, it's not our international reputation as a nation. Um, as a nation sort of living up to its uh, century-old um, commitment to, to liberty and the rule of law. It's not that. It's what they're concerned about is how they appear when they go to the United Nations or the G7 or the G20 or um, and how they how they are so concerned about how they appear to their fellow European Federalists and they must be seething that they are now not allowed in the club and they will of course as I always suspected will do everything they can to drag us back in. But what they have done is panic. It is panic. Um, the fact that they reach for the totalitarian kosh immediately kind of tells us that. Because now that, like like Trudeau in Canada, they've now got nowhere else to go. And we are getting to the stage now, as, uh, as George Orwell said, that the, the regime rules by fraud and force. But once the fraud is, is exposed, they must rely exclusively on, on force. So we need to keep our heads and we need to not give them any ammunition. One thing you don't want to be doing is getting yourself in the crosshairs of the establishment and the legal machinery. Because as we know, as is quite obvious to anybody with eyes, that it will depend de uh, completely on who you are as to how you're treated. You know, we all watched that video over the last, uh, at the weekend, of the man getting stabbed in Birmingham. And, I mean, that was a shocking thing. I've never seen so much blood. And that guy, the white guy, was outnumbered in an altercation with three, at least three black lads. Um, judging by their um, language, it sounds it appears that they're from somewhere like Trinidad or uh, Guyana. Um, judging by their slang, um, and that was quite plainly attempted murder. And the guy who did it has just been arrested for wounding and possession of a knife. Yeah. You know, was he fast tracked? Was he sentenced to immediate five years in prison? It doesn't appear so. I, mean, I haven't delved into the case, so I couldn't say for sure. But but this should tell you that this it depends completely on on who you are, and if you're not part of the protected class, you'll just be thrown to the wolves. But the basis of the panic is they know that there's two to three million men of a certain religious persuasion, shall we say, that they cannot control. Now, if, they, um, if they really kick off, they cannot be controlled. And so they've been desperate to keep a lid on this for uh, to keep a lid on them for ages. 
which is why they appease them at every turn, at every time. Um, but the basis of the panic is that if there's 20 to 30 million British men who really kick off, there's nothing I can do. There's absolutely nothing they can do. And they're right that there's nothing they can do. There's only 130,000 police officers in this country. So essentially, they are in irrelevance. Now, I would be lying if I told you I know, know what we are supposed to do. But I think the best guess is that we do have to organise um, and so I uh, reiterate my call to forming a as I called it, a posse, a brotherhood, what, call it whatever, whatever you like, but we need to be, numbers are all we have, we're not armed, so we can't rely on that, so we have to rely on numbers, and I've made this call a few times, um, it hasn't had a lot of traction. A few people have contacted me and I've even been criticised because some people have contacted me and I haven't responded. Um, and, you know, I apologise for that. But I... Because the response has been so small, I, I stopped looking. But... Um, so I will have missed some people, but... Up until now, people haven't been ready to do that, haven't been ready to take part in an act active resistance to what is happening. And I understand that. People have to arrive there when they do. But more people will understand that in the end, this is all, all that we can do. And we all know the, the theories about why they're doing what they're doing. Um, but I did hear something the other day, which just, it's not... It's earth-shattering, considering all the things that we know or suspect we know. Um, but somebody put it quite well. They said that Agenda 2030 cannot be achieved in a genuine democracy. And, of course, it can't. And so democracy has to be shut down. Um, but they will continue to talk about this country as if it is a democracy and a free society when it quite plainly isn't. Um, and call the rest of us far-right conspiracy theorists for believing what is in, what is in fact in front of our eyes. But anyway, you know, we must organise. It's the only thing that we can do if we want to stay free. So think about it.